Welcome to RB Fishing. Today, me and Reese are having a fishing battle. Whoever catches the most fish wins. And stay tuned till the end, because there's going to be a crazy punishment. All right, let's get fishing. So, all right, what I'm fishing with today is just a little spinning rod. And I just have a Texas rigged up crack and craw. I ripped one of the segments off to just give it a smaller profile. And let's go. Pretty windy out. So sorry if the audio is bad. Popping it off the bottom. All right, let's switch up spots. It's gonna be sad. I'm just messing. This is only my first one, Brayden. Yeah, this is only his first fish. We're just messing. There he goes. <laughs> so much for the safe relief. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Right. Well, uh, now we're on the board. Oh, hey, maybe my... we shouldn't publish that part where you just dropped it on the rocks. Yeah. Oh, my cracking craw is gone. Help me find it. Green. Kind of. Oh, here it is. I'll tell you guys. Magic. The Kraken Crow. You guys should go check out the Gugan Beats. They're pretty good. That's fish. There you go. No, dang it. It's gone off. Oh. Oh, it's moth again. I gotta go switch off my lure or whatever. All right, so uh, my Kraken Craw is all beat up and it has been broken, so we're gonna go switch it out. We're not gonna get the shots on walking. I know. I still like to do that though. I'm gonna practice. For what? I don't know. When you're like. For when I'm 50. Film, years filming old. a movie? Yeah, or when I'm filming a YouTube episode. <laughs> YouTube movies when you have 50 million subscribers. Yes. All right, so uh, I switched to the bandito buck. Uh, also a pretty good craw imitation, kind of a more creature bait. Uh, kind of more a natural kind of on top and lighter on the bottom. Uh, just have it on the same Texas rig and let's go. That's not a terrible one. You can see oh, it. Look at oh, that's a lot better than the last one. That's a pretty good one. I'm not supposed to talk to the camera. Oh, yeah, my bad. So, right here. I told you there was one down there. On the bandito bug. Feed them crawfish on the bottom, maybe. Oh, 
far, I am winning this challenge. I had a fish on. I had it on. The bobber? No, my giant pole. Yes, the bobber. No, no it doesn't have a bobber. It's just sitting on it. It just went all of a sudden. Did you get it on the GoPro? It was going like, boom. So then I had to like wait a little bit and it didn't do it again. So I would just try to reel it in, but. Man, I caught another one over there. I don't think I'm gonna win. No. That, but maybe I think I'm gonna try to fish for like catfish or whatever will pick up something on the bottom. Do you have any flip flops or something I could use? Yeah. What? Because it broke. What? Yeah, I heard you. How big was it? What are you even using? Which looks like. And you do? Looks like that. Oh. I have something like that. It's smaller. I'm gonna go over there because there's a lot of bigger fish over there. Yeah, like the big ones you've been catching. What? Nothing. No, I mean like big bait fish. Oh yeah. That I can use. There are quite a bit of bluegill over there. Yeah. And that I can use to bait use for catfish. I'm gonna take my cast net and go try to catch some bait for my catfish. Are you talking to me or are you? Talking to the viewers, which probably are like ten people. Ten people. Your parents. Until we become famous, and then people are like, "Oh, I wonder what their first video was." Which, in case, we'll probably have 77, 78 maybe million views. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, so guys, we weren't recording because Brayden broke his shoe. Uh, I did get a bite, but I started just got off he got off very sad but I'm still winning he did get a big hit on his fishing like a bluegill the size of my fist it's on the bottom he did get a hit on that but luckily he did not land the fish the sun's coming out today I think this fish and it's getting quite a bit warmer so I think these fish might actually they're going after moving things. They might not actually have to fish a slow on the bottom. Catch me some blue gale. Oh, another. Oh, quite a few. Baby bluegill? No. What is that? Is that bad? No, it's a bluegill. Bluegill. That's a wait. Is a this might be crappie. Yeah, I think there was some baby crappie I caught last time. I think that should be good. Some very nice action. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that is some. That is not the. That nice was action. not very good. That's the nice action right there that we like. Look at that. And dives quite a bit deeper. Look how beautiful that is. All right, guys. So I did switch up. I uh, switched up to more of a slower kind of moving bait. Uh, this is XPS. I don't know what it is. I know the brand is XPS. Just a little segmented hard swim bait, kind of a minnow color because I know they have kind of like minnows and bluegill here. So let's see if we can catch some because it is kind of warming up a bit here. So I hope the fish are gonna gonna, gonna get a bit more active. All right, so let's go. Hey guys, so after that, we didn't catch any more fish. The timer went off, and so we had to stop fishing. I was wearing the GoPro on my head, but the beginning half of the video, it wasn't recording. So I didn't get to show you guys what I was using and how I was using it. 
I was just using a three inch Texas rigged Senko. The last time I was there, I used this same setup and caught five different fish on it. Sadly though, I didn't catch any fish on it this time. However, I did have a fish on my catfish pool, but he dropped the bait while I was reeling it in. So I couldn't lay in that fish. So at the end of the day, I caught zero fish and Reese caught two bass. I was hoping we'd catch more fish than that, but I can't complain. Reese obviously took the dub on that one, so I'm gonna have to do the punishment. Hey guys, I'm about to do the punishment, which is eat a spoonful of crushed red peppers. And if you don't know what these are, they're like little flakes and they're pretty spicy, especially when you have a lot of them at once. So I was just looking at the nutrition facts and the serving size for this is a fourth of a teaspoon. And I'm eating a tablespoon. Here we go. A tablespoon of crushed red peppers. Why did I have to lose this challenge? Here goes nothing. Not that bad. Okay, kind of spicy. Nothing too intense yet. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. That's spicy. Oh. Man, my eyes are watering. Oh. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Okay, I did it. Not fun, not fun at all. Oh man. I'm like sweating so much right now. If you guys liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you later. See ya. Federation. Federation, because that is a word.